done my morning stretch, my morning meditation. I've had my breakfast. It's really, really good. Jeff has been making this oatmeal that's peanut butter and banana, and we sprinkle some extra peanuts on top and extra bananas on top. It's so good. I'll link the recipe in the description because it's out of this world. But yeah, now I'm dressed and today, well later today I have a dance class. It's not until the evening, so until then, I have a bunch of work to do. So I'm gonna go to the New York Public Library. It's beautiful. It's been one of my favorite. Did you just see my eye twitch? Yeah, that's been happening a lot lately. <laughs> it's amazing. It feels like being in Hogwarts. <laughs> that's been one of my favorite places to go get some work done. I'm finishing up March's version of the Slipper Edit. If you don't know, that's my virtual email-only magazine that explores the intersection of style, creativity, dance, all the beautiful things and every month we focus on a different theme so March's theme was inspiration so every Thursday morning I send all my slipper edit subscribers a little article about inspiration and now I've got to figure out what we're gonna do for April so I want to get that editorial calendar out I have some videos to edit it's gonna be good let me show you what I'm wearing though it's very cute the vibe is very preppy today that's just kind of how it went. Thrifted this top. I've got it very loose, very relaxed. Also thrifted this skirt, squirt. I think I showed this in my ballet core video. Yeah, so this has been a trusted part of my wardrobe ever since this discovery. And I put on some tights. Actually, I don't even know what the weather is like because it's always 3,000 degrees in my apartment. My heat is broken and seems to only go off when it is already hot outside. Like I said, I have a dance class later this evening, which I will take you to, but for now, we're gonna go to Hogwarts. One last little side note, style-wise, if you're wearing a button-down under a coat, honestly, pop the collar outside of the coat. It looks so much more put together. Look at this. Here's what it would look like ordinarily, which is fine. But then, pop the collar, and all of a sudden it's like part of your overall look, you know? I just think it's fun. Thought I'd share that little tidbit. Anyway, let's go. Never knew how hard I climbed Lost my foot in time and time again Never gave up, no, I never stopped trying Never sure what lies ahead of me Can't keep myself from looking behind Recently I've been doing these workshops at my dance studio. I'm doing my two favorite things, which are ballet and burlesque. I'm about to head out for my burlesque workshop. I've actually done this one before, but this is my second time doing it just because I love my teacher, I love the experience, and I really love as much as I can going back to basics. I really try and stay on top of doing classes that are like stretching me and definitely outside of my comfort zone with also going back to basics. And this is for multiple reasons because A, it's really nice to notice how I'm progressing. When I'm in a basic class and I'm realizing that I know more than I thought I knew, it helps me feel more confident in the class that are outside my comfort zone. When I first started dancing, I just felt like I didn't know anything <laughs> and I always felt lost and so it's nice to have a constant litmus test of okay I don't I don't really have to feel this lost anymore I actually 
I, I actually know more than I think I do. So there's that. The second reason is I just feel like it makes the harder classes that much stronger. I know exactly what I'm doing. If you nail the basics, dancing is just embellished different embellishments and variations of the basics so if you have a strong core foundation it just makes everything else that much stronger too i'm all dressed and ready to go let's go do some burlesque please excuse the disarray in my apartment it's just life it's just honest you know things are not always aesthetic around here <laughs> okay let's go I'm home. I'm very sweaty, but I'm home. I'm in my comfy clothes. Made myself a cup of tea. Jeff is with his family tonight, so I have the house to myself. And I think, I don't know, I might watch Step Up or something. I feel like I'm in a, a dance movie kind of mood. <laughs> when am I not though? Let's be real. But yes, it is cozy hour. The lights are low. Dance was a lot of fun today, but it definitely kicked my butt. So um, it's just time to unwind. But I wanted to say that when I was at the library, I was sitting across from these sweet younger girls. They were maybe like in high school or something. They were just doing their homework. And one of them just gave me this sticker. It is silent in that library. You're not allowed to talk. So she just slides this over to me across the table and then she's like, here, this sticker is for you. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why they decided that I needed to have this, but I thought that was really cool. And it was also a reminder where it's like, yes, 
I don't need to go to that library to work. I can work from home. Uh, I can work from anywhere, really. But I think there is such a beauty to getting out into the world. And I always say, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know what weird things are going to happen, who you're going to run into, whose day you're going to make, who's going to make your day. And this is just such a reminder of that. I don't know. It's like a little symbol of human connection. Like we're all on this earth together and we need to be around each other even when we don't have to be it's just good to get out into the world because you never know what's gonna happen some random girls could just give you a sticker <laughs> and who doesn't want that anyway on that note i am going to turn in for this night but i hope you enjoyed this dance vlog I, I really want to start taking you to more of my classes and sharing more of my life as a dancer. It's just, it's everything to me. It makes me so happy and it seems like it makes you very happy to watch these kinds of vlogs too. So that's the plan. Anyway, thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next vlog. Good night.